Okay. All right. So let's talk about some of these tools. So now we're going to get into the interactive part. So uh, some of this might go super fast. Some of this might take a few more minutes, and it's all good. I just want to make sure that everybody is able to do each of these steps uh, before we go on. So if you're already if you've already done this thing and you're like, uh, and I'm starting to explain it, you could go hit the bathroom for five minutes or whatever while we do that. So um, as long as everybody, uh, if, if you guys do not, if you guys have a problem accessing these things or signing on or logging on or whatever, I want to solve that before we leave today. Cool? All right. So the first one is uh, my YouTube channel uh, or the, my YouTube playlist on my YouTube channel. Um, and so uh, this is where I'll post all of these lectures and stuff. I'll also post them in Canvas, but this is a more direct thing. And so this is this is a better thing to subscribe to. You just get you'll just get the announcements if a lecture goes up and, just, and things like that instantly. Um, and so uh, you can type bitly slash esrm four sixty two tube, which is the smallest I can make it. Or if that's too bit much a pain in the butt, you can just Google my name and esrm and oh, I just should have said it YouTube and YouTube, and you'll you'll find it there. Uh, so I have a bunch of playlists. You can subscribe to whatever you want, but the one I'm talking about is the one called Coastal or, or Coastal Playlist or Coastal Videos. So if you guys can just do that, subscribe to it, then I know you'll get an announcement whenever we do that. So um, why don't you guys take a minute or two and do that. And if anybody has any issues or it's not showing up right or the link is broken, let me know. Uh, while we're waiting for folks to do that, the ones I've done. So I, I went by the police yesterday and complained because you guys met, were telling me that the parking um, kiosk things were busted. And they said, they're all fixed. And I said, no, I really want to know they're fixed. I said, they're fixed. I said, no, I want to know they're fixed. Like, we said they're fixed. So, so they swore to me that everything was fixed. So hopefully folks that parked today, that, that was more smooth than on Monday. Is that, that true? Okay. Okay, so let's go on to number next. Okay, next is our Slack tool. You should have all gotten, I added everybody, I had to add everybody manually. So everybody should have gotten an invite. You might have already, I know some of you already, on a glance, had already um, uh, joined. But if you haven't yet joined Slack, um, you sh uh, the easiest thing is to look in your email. Uh, and as of uh, last day or so, you guys should have gotten an invite. Um, I think it would come from something like slack.com. Um, is, that, is that true, people that got that? You guys just got, okay. And so, and just follow the instructions or click on it. My request is, and I would say just go ahead and do it right now, even if you're going to edit it later. Um, uh, again, with all these things, with Zoom, with, with whatever the, the virtual identity you have, Upload an image of yourself, a picture, like a good picture of your face, not your dog at the wedding, but, but you guys, so I can help to learn everybody's names more quickly, um, and, uh, and, and, and your name, and the name that you prefer to be called, so that I can, I can track. Sometimes people do like a letter or you know something, and it, it just, that, that's a little hard. So in general, whatever the platform is, Zoom, Slack, blah, 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 um, Good picture, good good headshot of yourself, and and uh, easily recognizable name would be great. And uh, and when you get on the Slack, for those of you that haven't used this before, this is essentially an instant messaging platform, collaborative platform, kind of like texting one another, but you can add documents and and other things. Let's see, while well, you're doing that, well, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait for you guys to do that. Yeah. Uh, you can sign on via Google if you want to, or you can do your own individual password. It's, it's, it's up to you guys, whatever you feel comfortable with. And uh, so now that people are joining or have already joined, uh, so one of the first things you can just do just to make sure it's working, uh, there's a couple different channels. The default one is called General, and I have a few up there. One is for the, the polls, one is for the field trip that might be helpful. Um, if, you just, if you just type randomly, or, or start typing a message, it'll populate in the general, um, what's called the general channel, the hashtag general. And so that's fine for most stuff. Um, but when we do have, when we are working on a project, if you guys are doing something about, I don't know, some mapping lab, and you're like, what the hell, I don't know, what to, feel free to post in that, in that general one, or 
you could you could start your own channel. You could you could say, ah, you know, I want to talk about the the week three lab or whatever. The idea though is that when you just type stuff generally, it's like a it's like a group text. Everybody will get it. I'll be like, do. I'll say, you know, at whoever's name uh, says, I'm lost. Who knows where the thing is, right? And so the cool thing with this, as we found last year, is you guys can, of course, ask me questions or ask, you know, just open-ended questions. And if I see it, if I'm not in a meeting or something, I check it and I see it, I'll answer it. But all of you can answer too. So instead of asking a question and waiting for the old professor dude to, like, get around to look at his email or whatever, right? Please, if you see that and you know the answer, just answer it right there. Oh yeah, it was on page three. Or or he talked about that in lab and, and he said to skip that first part of the, you know, whatever it is. So um, sentence fragments, you know, whatever you guys use, whatever emojis or GIFs or, 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 or uh, you know, thingamajigs, whatever you youngins do these days. So it's all good. So the idea is that it's a way to group help and to get people answers uh, uh, more clearly. And it also will help help you when you answer. So if someone says, I don't know how to do this thing. And you're like, dude, it's on page three. And then everybody else goes, whoa, 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 dude, it's on page 13. You're like, oh crap, maybe I did it wrong, right? So it's a two-way street kind of thing. So as with everything else, you know, let's be respectful and everything, but you guys can be as, as you know, silly and whatever as, as you want. Um, but the students really seem to find it valuable last year. Um, so cool. Is anybody not able to get on? Is anybody having any challenges? Logging on? Okay, cool. So one of the first things I'd like you guys just to do, if you haven't done it already, uh, after you put your name in and, and upload a little, a little, uh, you know, picture of yourself, a little, little, little um, avatar, uh, just do hello. Just say hello and your name and I don't know how you're feeling today, a one word thing or something. And, and once people start doing that, why don't you reply to at least what two or three people just so you get, just so you get the, figure out how, to, how it works. The last thing you can do that I didn't say, the last thing you do is direct message. So you can send one person, me or one person only the, the question if, if that is, if you want to. Um, but, but I would say in general, if you don't, and of course, if you want to do that, by all means do that. But if you don't have a specific reason to, I would just normally post it to everyone so that we can get as, as much um, help and, and feedback as, as possible. Cool. Now the cool thing about this is it'll work on your phone. It'll work on a browser. There's also desktop applications. So it should work on any electronic device that you have. Small mobile thing, big, big tall desktop, PC, Linux, um, you know, whatever. Uh, so cool. All right, so everybody good with that? That one making sense? All right, cool. I will give us another minute or so. I see everybody's jumping on in, so that's cool. I love it. Awesome, awesome. The last thing I'll say is you guys are, are uh, saying hello and, and responding to people and stuff is uh, obviously questions for me, you know, logistics questions, that kind of stuff um, are fine. Um, but Realize you can also start a discussion on this if you want, right? You don't have to, but if you're like, God, that paper I read really sucked, or, or Dr. A's lecture was really weird today. Do you guys agree or something, right? So you guys can uh, feel free to, to, if you just want to chat with someone about any of these topics, if you're feeling super positive, if you're feeling super bombed or whatever, you know, throw some, throw some comments on there and, uh, and, and by all means, have a, have a dialogue with, with each other. Okay. Next is, uh, scoop it, what the hell, why does it say coastal? I just this is what happens when I do this at three in the morning, I guess. Um, uh, okay, so scoop it is the next thing I wanna get everybody on boarded. Again, you should have all gotten an email invitation in your CSUCI email inbox, and you can just click the link and follow that and follow the instructions to, to um, uh, log on to, to sign up. Um, I'll just remind you, though, that uh, with all these things, but again, especially with Scoop It, 
they sometimes put a screen in front of you. I can't show it to you because I've already been joined, but, but when you first join up and they'll say like, Hey, want to give us your credit card and want to join like a blah, blah, blah member plan. You do not, everything is free. You do not need to just say decline the, the pay or decline the offer for the upgraded, whatever the heck. And so, uh, why don't you guys take a minute, check your email. If you haven't done already, check your email and, uh, uh, Click the link and, and go and accept it. And we'll see if anybody has an issue with that. If anybody does not have an email or, um, yeah. Everybody has, people have them in their in inbox? Okay, cool. Okay, I'll give you guys a minute to sign on, but this is what the page will look like when you, uh, when you get there. Actually, I'll do this while we're waiting. Um, scoop it uh, is another thing that operates through the browser so you can do it on PCs you can do it on Chrome you can do it on Firefox you can do it on whatever they also historically have had an app the app sucks so I would say just use the browser um, is is uh, the best option for you I mean if you want to try the app you can but it, the functionality is pretty lame I think Making sense? Pretty smooth? Okay, so I'll let you guys keep doing that, but while you're doing that, I'll just show you what we're gonna do with this tool. So what this is, is a curation website. So this is a place to aggregate um, material. And primarily here, we're talking, for our, for our class, we're talking about news sites, although in theory, you can upload PDFs and do other things like that. Um, and so if we just, so uh, we'll have a look at this. It says coastal restoration, and we look down, and uh, so this is becoming more about them trying to make money on like social media feeds and stuff. So you can just ignore that kind of crud. But but so basically, what you see here is if we just scroll down, here's a story about uh, California and wildfires. Here's heavy rains and flash floods, all this and that, right? And uh, you see who. So your name will show up. So, so when I, I'll show you how to do a scoop, it's called a scoop in a second, but you know, your name will show up and, um, and it has the title and then it'll have, uh, a, a little quick, um, a little quick, uh, blurb or so the first sentence or so, or the first paragraph or so, if there's a picture, there'll be a picture. In this case, this story just had like some weird logo thing from the, from the site signs daily. So there was not an image with it, but if there is an image, It'll be, it'll be uh, automatically grabbed in most cases. And then what I want you guys to do is um, just a sentence or two or three, just a little bit of summary or, 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 or perspective. Wow, I found this really surprising. I didn't think it was like this. You know, just something like that, a little context. And, and that's it. And then in this case, nobody reacted to her story, but, but when you guys respond to someone, they'll, they'll start to be a chain. You can look at the conversation that's going on. 
Okay, so how do we use this tool? Well, um, there's a couple different ways. There's a bookmarklet. So there's a thing you can go to in the settings and drag and drop it into your bookmark bar on, on Chrome or, or, or whatever the browser you're using is. Um, and so you can just uh, essentially w one click do it. But I'll show you the more general way that'll work all the time, whether you want to do that or don't want to do that. Some people are getting more picky about adding, adding things to their browsers. So I'll just show you the generic way. And either way is fine. Either way will work. So you are going to be, for the, for, for the duration of this class, I want you guys to be looking around for stories. So obviously we have readings to do and, 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 and stuff that I'm giving you, but I also want you to be casting stuff around. Hey, what's going on right now? What's, what's the hurricane doing? What's the, uh, what's the coastal erosion story of the day or fishery story or whatever? So um, let's say I was hunting around. Let's say I go to LA Times. And I find, oh, here's this article. Okay, cool. So I, 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 I read this article, and I'm like, aha, this is cool. This is, this is interesting. This is about um, something related to the class. Oh, the other thing to say is it can be about any aspect of coastal management. So if we're talking about fisheries that week, but you found a cool one on wildfire impacts and housing prices in the coast or something like that, that's all good. That's fine. So it doesn't have to be about our specific focus that, that week or that module or whatever. As long as it has something to do with the, the wider coastal zone, it's, it's, it's fine. And it could be like a, bio, a super biological focus thing. It could be a super uh, you know, environmental justice focus thing. It, it's, that's all good. So anything's, anything's fair game. Um, the only thing is nobody can have posted the story before. So, um, so and, and if, you, if you grabbed a link... It should say, sometimes it doesn't. So you wanna just double check before you post it. Check the last several you know, entries and make sure that no one's done it. Um, Cause we want new stories here. Okay, so here's the deal. So this is here's the title, it's got a title. If we scroll down, oops, if we scroll down, we see there's all, there's pictures and, and, and text and stuff. Okay, cool. So all I need to do is grab that, grab that link. So I'm gonna go up to the um, address bar, copy it. And I'm going to go to scoop it. And right here in this top area, this top uh, 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 dark blue area, there's a box. I'm going to click in there, hit paste. Hit that dude. Sometimes it goes very fast. Sometimes it takes a, few, a minute or two. depends on the website and stuff. So it's thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. It's apparently thinking a lot. And so I should have picked a different example, I guess. Uh, and when this comes up, I'm just gonna add a sentence, you know, a sentence or two, a little perspective. And I just wanna check and make sure that it's okay. Every once in a while, because some of our websites are, you know, they're auto-populating, sometimes the thing's all messed up. So we wanna just double check and make sure it's readable and, you know, it makes sense. Uh, and, uh, and you can also adjust the size of the photo. If it's a really nice photo, but it comes up as a little teeny thumbnail, you can make it bigger. So you can do a few cosmetic things just to make it more aesthetically appealing. Wow, this is a great example I gave you guys. It's really powerful. While we're waiting for that to cycle through, is everybody good? Any questions about log, the login on part? Everybody good? Well, <laughs> maybe I should get another different example. It's normally much faster than this. Okay, in any event, I want everybody to post the story before we leave. So while this, we're waiting for this, or, or while I'm looking for another example, why don't you guys start hunting around for a coastal story? Yeah. When you find that link, you're going to post it into this this box right here and then hit that green button and I'm not sure why this I think it might be trapped in this little loop here while it's doing its uh, its thing if I tried to post this that somebody else had posted the story it would give me a warning it would say oh this is, you already scooped this story
Yo, yo. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yours worked. I don't know why. I don't know why my, my mind is being lame. Let me see if I try this again. Okay, let me find a different story somewhere. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Do we have to add insight to it before we publish it? Uh, just give no, one sentence. Just give a one sentence thing. Yeah. It's, I mean, a little something. This, 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 is, this looks to be an interesting story. This is, a, this is surprising. This looks gnarly. Okay, so yeah, something was weird with the LA Times. Okay, so I, I, just, I just put this link in, and so it pops up, right? So if we have a look here, uh, there's, a, there's a, a couple different things we can mess with. Uh, this stuff you can just ignore. This is just posting to other places, but you can leave that. Um, in, in my case, I have several of these channels, so I have this option to pick the destination. You guys probably won't have that because you guys just are in this one, in, the, in this uh, uh one coastal restoration site, so that's fine. Um, so then I'm, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come up here. Oh, sorry. I, I share my, share my. So I hit. I hit edit mode, so I can do stuff here. So if I didn't like this sentence, or if it was misspelled or something, I can add to it. I can come up here, and if this like this is a cool photo, but it's super small, I can make the photo be bigger. Right. I can make the text wrap around the photo. I could do. I could do all these different things. And then down here where it says the IT exclamation mark. So I want to say something about this. So um, I was surprised at the lack of standardization for names of fires or something like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to say. And then I just hit publish like this. Wait a second. And then here it is. Here's my story. So the, so. So the newest stories are always going to go to the top of the page. And so, um, you know, you, you're more than welcome to scroll through and look at old stuff or, or stuff from previous classes or, or, or students or whatever. Um, that's great. Um, but your stuff will be there. And so, again, now if I'm, if I'm the viewer, if I'm, if I'm looking through other people's posts and I'm like, oh, that looks like an interesting story, all you have to do is whack that link and it'll take you to the story. Um, so uh, as long as it is readable. So if something's behind a firewall, you'll paste it. And a lot of times if it has a firewall, it won't allow you to post properly and, and scoop it itself. But, but sometimes like things like New York Times or like they'll give you like 10 free views a month or whatever the heck. So you can go ahead and post it. But if you've already looked at the maximum, and, and then you went to look at it here, you might get some kind of warning that says, hey, you gotta, you gotta pay. But, um, but as long as there isn't like a hard paywall, so something like the Wall Street Journal, as long as there isn't a hard paywall, um, you should be able to, to post a story. Cool? Okay, I got 9.55, so I'll start a little slow here for the folks that are still in the bathroom. Okay, so we, uh, uh, we're not, we'll, we'll, we'll end in a little bit here. I don't want to keep everybody maximally. I've already kept you guys longer than I probably should today. So, um, so we'll do a couple of these other ones. I just want to make sure you guys have it. So first is um, we're in the midst of transitioning from our old way of doing things to the modern way of doing things. The modern way of doing things is with R. And our younger students now are all coming in. And Dr. Fairfax is teaching everybody R in stats. And it, sometimes it's painful and it's command line. And people are like, oh, God, I don't want to do this. But it's, it's such a more powerful way to do things. Free. You can take it with you wherever you go in perpetuity. You don't have to worry about some site license and that kind of stuff. So the, probably the ideal way 
to do graphing for this and your job and whatever is going to be with R. R can do both graphing and R can do stats. But again, we've just started this process a couple years ago. So, so many of you older students haven't had that opportunity. If you do, I would, I would encourage you guys to take that stats class, even if you've already taken it. It's just, it'll be a great, it'll be painful to go through maybe, but you'll be way better off at the end. Um, so having said that, many of you have not gone through R and that's, and that's you know, understandable and all good. I would say a couple things. One, you all have free R classes as a student through uh, what used to call, be called lynda.com. Now it's called LinkedIn Learning. It's one of the tabs on our uh, uh, MyCI, one of the pins down at the bottom. So if you guys want to do that or anything else, free classes on Excel, free classes on computer programming, free classes on Photoshop, on just about anything electronic, uh, they normally cost money. But as a student, uh, you guys have unlimited access to those. So, so uh, just, just know that. But, okay. Done with that speech. So, graphing now. I haven't taken R. Dr. A is going to give me something. Wants, to make, wants me to make a graph. Okay. Um, I, uh, here's an alternative. Using Excel sucks. No matter what people tell you, Excel sucks. It's hard to make it look professional. It's hard to make it look, uh, yeah, just professional. You can. It is possible, but it takes a lot of time, and it's not very intuitive and they constantly try to make you go down their pathways of bad design. So uh, an option, therefore, if you don't know how to use R, don't have time to learn R and everything, which is understandable, uh, try Plotly. So Plotly is a free program. It's designed to do a lot more than, we, than you will use with it, but, but we're just going to use a part of its functionality. So what you need to do is go to this one. Don't type Plotly.com because that's their main business, but sort of one of their legacy things that we started piloting for them several years ago is this thing here. So chart-studio.plotly.com. So type that in and, uh, and, and, and once you get that address, wait one second, don't, don't register yet or take a pause. I just want to show you what, it, what it's like. Okay. So this, this isn't going to do everything super fancy and great, but this will allow you to do basic, uh, you know, scatter plot, bar graph kind of things for our, our class. Okay. And, and for that matter, for whatever. The free, free version you're going to get, you can only have 100, 100 things, 100 graphs or 100 data sets. For this class, that's plenty fine. Um, if you were to maximize, if you were to max out that 100, you can just delete some and then you have, an, it's not like you only have you 100 in your whole life. You just can only have 100 in your, in your memory bank at any one time. Cool. So uh, I'll just show you how this works really quickly. And then I'd like you guys to just log on. So I, I, I'm, I'm signed in. So I've, I've signed in. So it says Dr. A there. Um, and, and this is all browser based. So this is whatever your favorite browser is, whatever your favorite platform is. Okay, so on your phone, this might be a little bit challenging to do some graphs on, but, but on your laptop and desktop and stuff, it should work fine. So here we go. So here's, uh, and, and, and just for reference, you can see my library here. So my library, here's some data that I have. Here's some figures that I made, etc. The other nice thing about this is this is web, this is online native. So all of the figures are made to be embedded in a blog post, in a website, something like that. You can also make them static. You can also turn them into a PDF, right? Or a, the kind of thing we just print from the printer or two dimensional, which is cool. But they, start, they all start out as dynamic figures that you can interact with, that you can hover your cursor over and look at the, the value and, and stuff of that nature, okay? So uh, let, I'll just show you how to do this the first time. Okay, so I'm going to hit, I say new chart. And it's going to look like this. So it's going to look very familiar to you. This thing, this thing looks like a spreadsheet, right? Excel kind of thing. So we have a window up here. We have the, the uh, graphing panel down here. I can import an Excel spreadsheet. I can import a CSV. I can import the, the typical uh, uh, data things. I can also just type something in. So for example, uh, I can go to the header, rename this, and say this is height. 
I can say this is, uh, uh, I don't know, length. Okay, and I can just type in whatever my data are. All right. I can come up here and I can type in whatever. Okay, so I got some data in there. And then uh, I can come up to here and I can hit this thing that says trace. There, every, all, these, all these companies want to sort of have their own terms for all these things, right? Instead of saying graph, or, so they call it trace. So I hit, I hit trace and it says, what kind of graph do you want to make? And I could do, if I click on this, scatter plot or a line, you know, da, 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 you could knock yourself out, right? I'm gonna say simple scatter plot. Then say, what do you want to, what do you want to graph? I'm gonna say, well, I want uh, height to be on the X, uh, length to be on the, on the Y. And there's my graph, right? I mean, it's really ugly because I made it that way. But all these things you can change. I can change the axes. I can, I can, you know, I can, I can, and because it's online, it's dynamic. If I change the, if I change the size of it, it automatically resizes itself. So once I, once I print this out as say a PDF, for example, that you might submit for an assignment, it'll be, it'll be fixed, right? But um, it's very simple to use. Um, and you know, it's not, it doesn't have all the functionality in the world, but for a, a basic graphing program, it's, it's pretty nice, right? And it's free and you can use it from anywhere. Uh, and, and, uh, I can give you guys more tutorials later, but then I would just hit save and I can save it. I can name it, et cetera. And then once I've saved it, I can export it as whatever, you know, a PDF or a JPEG or something. Cool. So why don't you all uh, set up a free account on Plotly right now and let me know if there, you have any problems. I gotta take, I gotta take a... Emily, this is for you. Everybody's working on graphing. Every first day in lab, and everybody is is working on uh, starting to do some graphs. So you should be super happy. I hope you're happy. And, and, and so I want everybody to sign up for this so you know, but, but out of curiosity, is anybody familiar with R and they just want to use R for the class? One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. But, but, but maybe, but maybe. Okay, it's all good. It's a, and I don't care what platform you're going to use. So when we say like, make a graph of blah, 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 it's however, however you guys want to, you know, whatever your jam is, as long as you can make it professional and, and good. Um, I remember this before. Do you have a link to the graph that you like? Oh yeah, right. That you have. Yeah, sorry. Perfect. Yeah. So the other, when I first started using it, one of the advantages was it was free, and these and these guys promised me it would be free, and so far it's right. So when we look at this. It says enterprise. Uh, so this is designed for people that um, say are work. Uh, well, not designed, but it's evolved into a tool for people like on Wall Street. They're doing stock trading. They have all these big, huge, massive amounts of data, and they're just doing live feeds and generating like, you know automatically through code generating figures and stuff they can look at uh, or on a website kind of thing. And so that's really where their, their bread and butter is now they've decided. But as they promised me four years ago, we first piloted this for them. Um, they're totally true. They said, there's always gonna be a component that's free and it's always gonna stay free. And so that was the number one thing I liked, right? But the second most important thing, which is what Jennifer, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what Jennifer just said, which is, it's like a Google Doc. So when you, if, you, if we're working in a small group or whatever, Jennifer can make it and she can either just give it to me and I can look at it or she can actively share it with the three of us and we can all collabor collectively edit it. Similarly, you can save your graph to be, pri or your, your figure and graph to be private so that only you can see it and people you let have. By default, it's public. 
And because we have the free version, it's public. So that's okay. So we're not going to put any like, you know, private COVID data up there or whatever. But, but absolutely, it's a collaborative thing. So once you have your first draft of your graph, you can send it to your, your lab partner and see what she wants to do to it. She can tweak it. She can send it back to you. And back. So it's really cool. It's really, it's really interactive that way and, 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 and collaborative. Yeah, excellent point. Cool. Yeah. 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 So, the, so, so, so there are. So, like I'm saying, there are other options out there. So, I'm not saying you guys have to use Plotly for this class. I just want to make sure that you have an easy to use option that's free that everybody can use, and at least, at least, we we, we have this as the default. You guys are more than welcome to use any other program, proprietary program, open source. Um, I just want to make sure you guys have an ability to, to do professional graphs. So I'm not going to say, give me your Plotly link. I'm going to say, you know, give me the, give me the, the, the scatter plot or whatever. Cool. All right. Everybody good? Anybody have any stumbling blocks on that? Everything makes sense? Okay. Um, let's see. What else did I want to cover with onboarding? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so one more. And then I think maybe we'll, uh, we'll uh, just... Call it a day after this because we've all been inside in a tightly packed room for uh, longer than a typical lab period for us here. Um, and there's a, there's a few other things after this that we need on board, but they they're pretty easy. So I'll just end with this last one. Okay, so the last one I want to uh, go over is this pull everywhere. Now I've uh, you know it's this was useful initially, but now I'm kind of like. I might be getting over it, but in any event, we're still going to try it. And I, I, I paid for the annual subscription, so screw it, I'm going to use it, right? We're going to try it. Um, so, okay, so the, the, the idea with this is, um, this is something I might use in our lectures, maybe in lab here, but I'm doing something and say, hey, you guys, I want your feedback. Like, did that make sense? Did you get that? Like a really quick kind of poll. The kind of thing we might do on a Zoom poll, but we're not on Zoom right now, right? And so... There's lots of ways to do this. I could, I could put up a Google form, right? There's all kinds of ways to do this. Um, but this one that I paid for, right, when, the, when we started going online, I thought it was going to be the best thing ever, is this thing called Poll Everywhere. So um, this is my link. Poll EV, so it's, it won't change. So this is my uh, name forever in the, this company. So uh, it's, um, you know, you can do this through the web. You can do this through your browser. I can also put up a QR code, but, but you can type that into your browser, or you can just simply text, okay? And so, um, so if we do use this, this is gonna be something just for quick, hey, give me a sense, you guys, you know, should I do this or should I do that for, for Monday? Or, you know, how, how, did, did that thing make sense? That, that kind of that kind of deal. Really, that'd be cool. Uh, Savannah. Here. Uh, Jack. Here. All right, cool, awesome. All right, people. I'm gonna flick on. I'm gonna flick on uh, stuff. Uh, so basically, we have some onboarding stuff and some simple quizzes and stuff. So there's stuff to do this week, but it's not a heavy lift. We'll start the real content next week. I will see you guys on Monday in our big Del Norte. I have office hours in. I have office hours in about an hour uh, on Zoom. But I'm gonna be up at tortillas having lunch on Zoom. So if you guys want to come up there, you're welcome to Zoom me or. You can physically come to Thanks, everybody. We're going to have a great quarter. A great, great quarter. We're going to have a great semester. I don't even know what our school's organization is anymore. My God. Thanks, you guys.